Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today I'm trying to get Buildbox to work with AdMob, and it's not working. And I don't know why. The steps are not that complicated, so I thought I would just go through the steps here. And if you can see what I'm missing, please let me know because it's just giving me a headache. I just want ads in my game. I don't want anything complicated. I don't want ad mediation. I don't have any click reward. I just want interstitials and banner ads so that I can finish my first game with Buildbox. So let's get to it. Now before I begin, don't forget to like and subscribe as I go through the game dev process. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a difficult process. Here, let's take a look. I'll leave a link down below, but here we have Particles who gives a step-by-step -step on how to do the ad integration. Now, I'm missing something I don't know what, and all I really want is AdMob in iOS. Nothing complicated. So here it is, straightforward. Cool thing was I was able to edit the code to once you get to level 12, it jumps you back to level one. I'm always excited when I'm able to edit code because, <laughs> because I don't know how to code. So let's just, here we have custom, custom game banner. Okay, no music. Yeah, I should probably put music, but whatever. Step one, option here. Step two, add add mob. SDK Xcode in Buildbox official tutorial. Step three, update code, add integrated to show banner interstitial. I'm gonna save this as version number nine. I have gone through eight different versions trying to get this to work. This looks good. Now I'm gonna save it. Go to export iOS. So here we go. Okay, so now let's open up Xcode. We don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna close it. Okay, version nine. First thing we want to do is implement AdMob SDK. Now you can just find the AdMob SDK by Googling AdMob SDK. I'm currently using the most recent one, but I even had someone send me an older AdMob SDK because they said Buildbox and the most recent SDK wasn't working great. Well, I think in this example, I'm gonna use the older AdMob SDK, but I have tried both and none of them work. And again, this video will not accomplish the goal of getting ads to work on my game. I just feel it needs to be done because I've spent multiple days trying to get this to work and I never know when it comes to Buildbox if I'm doing something wrong or if Buildbox is just kind of broken in the back end and nobody knows. So this is the most recent SDK and then this is the one that another Buildbox developer sent over to me. So I'm gonna grab it and move it here under the frameworks because that's where it goes. Copy items if needed, this is always important. And here we can already see errors. I was told that this should still work even though we see the errors. So keep that in mind. And the next step is this add integrator. Basically just copy this. Let's go to add integrated.mm and I'm gonna select all and paste. I'm gonna go in here and update this information with the information that I have for my game. But before I forget, this is the code to make sure the music doesn't turn off if there's music playing in the background. I hate games that do this, I, I really do. I don't know why people don't just put in these lines of code and then you just don't have that problem anymore. Now, if you're listening to music on Spotify or Apple Music and you open up my game, that music will keep playing, gotcha back. Okay, so now we have everything done in the to-do list. When I told someone else that my game kept crashing, they mentioned that I need to implement something in the info.plist file that associates the Google AdMob and the Apple ID of the game in the info.plist. So I'm gonna do that now. And I wanna be clear that all these steps I have done and tried before uh, results in my game not working properly. But I hope that somebody watching this video and they're like, yo, Al, you need to click that checkbox and then everything will work properly. That probably won't happen, but at the same time, I've spent a lot of time just trying to get the ad to work. So I'm just kind of making this video to help release the frustration that I have when you're just trying to get simple ads to work and they don't. Here in the Google, AdMob SDK, it mentions that you should totally have this in here. And we can add this 
here. Next, I am going to run it in Xcode because if it doesn't work in Xcode, then it shouldn't work on my phone. Yeah, see there's a fail here. Yeah, and all this stuff is failing. So I'm gonna go over and review the documentation one last time. So this was kind of a fail. I hope in time I'll be able to figure out what it is that I did wrong. I'm secretly hoping it's BuildBox's fault, but I don't think that's the case because those other examples of live BuildBox games with ads working properly. I guess this is also part of the game dev process when you just keep trying to figure something out that doesn't work. And in this case, it's ads, which is kind of important. Not that I expect to make money off of this game, as this game is just so that I can have my first Billbox 3 game on the App Store. It's not supposed to be like a top. I'm just trying to complete a game. These are the frustration points that I have. So I'll be releasing the game. I just won't have ads on it until I figure this out. And that's, that's okay. You gotta keep moving forward and figure it out along the way. And that is what I am trying to do. I hope this video made you feel better. If you ever get frustrated with BuildBox and something's not working right, because trust me, I know how that feels. Pain in the butt. Let me just go ahead and finish everything else up with this game, get it on the App Store. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.